or so. Uh, we do a we do an executive uh, walkthrough tour once a month, but then on occasion maybe a special group like this or just walking uh, another staff member through uh, to to make sure we're ready. But often enough to make sure we're on track. You notice a huge difference every time you walk in. Huge difference. You know, last time we didn't have paint, we didn't have carpet, we didn't have lockers, we didn't have a lot of the tile being placed down. So a lot of progress made really just in the last couple weeks. So are you all right on track or would you say you all even maybe ahead of schedule? You know, I, I think we're right on track to be honest with you. Um, you know, really mid-December is a critical time to have the retractable seats in, to really have the building start to be cleaned. So a lot of the, the finishing touches will be done by the middle of December. And then it's making sure everything works before that game on January 7th. So there's a lot of prep time. And then we move furniture in on December 28th. And so the building ha really has to be ready on December 28th to have that furniture in. And then our teams are going to be able to practice in here about a week before the first game. So, uh, you know, I I'd say we're right on, uh, right on track. And we're under budget, so that's a good thing too. <laughs> Any worries about throughout the process of it getting done? Because I mean, a huge project like this, and January seventh is such a specific. You know, we, we really had such a great architect, a great contractor, a great work on our campus team to make sure everything was on track. And really, once we hit milestones, like having the center hung scoreboard in, mm -hmm. the wood floor laid, the retractable seats here on site, to, once those big things happened, then we knew we could. Uh, we could make the, the date. You know, you can have some paint that's not completed. You can have certain finishings that aren't completed, but you've got to have those big things to be able to play a game. And obviously it has to be safe. So we've had fire marshals in here. We've had inspectors in here every step of the way. So a lot of the big stuff has been checked off to make sure we, we open on time. How excited are you for January 7th? I really don't know what to expect, to be honest with you, because we've never done this. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you don't open a building like this, but once in a lifetime. And uh, I just can't wait to see the the expression on people's faces. You know, I think you guys are seeing that today, but when our players walk out of the court for the first time onto the court, when our fans walk in the, the concourse, you know, I, I just think people are just gonna be so excited and the happiness to say that we have something, you know, we can be proud of for, for basketball. Um, yeah. What about, uh, let's say security purposes, like say oh, oh Miss is hosting a game, uh, around the same time, how would, uh, I guess, traffic basically be? Be arranged. Yeah, you know, I, I think we've done a really good job of, of adding parking and making sure that we have traffic flow. So this road behind us will be a three-lane road when it's all completed. Uh, after the building opens, we have 800 parking spots here. We're gaining more along Hill Drive. I think we're working better with UPD to make sure we all get off campus a lot faster. So, you know, obviously it's a process. It's communication. It's patience as well. We know for night football games, as an example, it takes longer. It just does, you know, especially with our crowds that we're having. So I think this is no exception that we have to make sure we get people off. But I, I think we're doing a better job than what we have.